Hey guys, it's Brandon from Pixel Planet Studios. Today we're gonna look at rigging up this shadow that automatically changes based on the Y position of another layer. You don't need to know expressions going into this, but a basic knowledge of them will be helpful. So as the Y position changes, we want the shadow to get larger, more blurry, and more transparent. So right now you'll see that my Y position is 1277 and I'll go ahead and separate the dimensions. So I want to find the point where the shadow becomes non-existent and where the shadow is at 100% opacity. So I'll move him up to let's say 900. I want the opacity to be zero. And then let's see at 1400, I want the opacity to be 100. Now it's worth noting that in After Effects, the vertical position starts at zero at the top and works its way down. So I'll create an expression on the opacity of the shadow and I'll pick whip the Y position. And I'll create a variable and call it platform and then I'll make it equal to that Y position and I'll type a semicolon after. And then I'll create a few more variables. I'm going to make the top position 900. I'm going to make the bottom position 1400. I'm going to make the range distance equal to the bottom minus the top value. So this will of course equal 500. That's the distance between our two points. And then our percentage from the bottom is going to be bottom minus platform divided by that range distance. And then the percentage from the top will be platform minus top divided by range distance. So for the opacity, we want it to be the percentage from the top times the current value, which is 100%. When our platform is at the bottom, the percentage from the top is 100%. So that will be 100% of the 100 value that was already typed into our opacity. And so since we multiplied it by value, we can adjust the current value. Let's say if we wanted it a little more transparent uh, throughout the whole thing. So now I'm going to add a Gaussian blur effect and uncheck repeat edge pixels. And I'm going to copy and paste the same expression that we created into the blurriness of the Gaussian blur. And I want this to be more blurry as it gets higher. So I'll change this to percentage from bottom times value. And then I'll set the value of the blurriness to 135. And now you can see that the shadow gets blurrier and fades out as we get higher. Let's take it one step further. I'll copy and paste our expression from the blur into the scale. Now the scale has two properties, making it an array. This array has two values, one for the horizontal scale and one for the vertical scale. For this one, I'm going to create one more variable and I'll just call it S. And so for this, S is going to equal the percentage from the bottom times 150. So I've decided that I want the scale to increase by a maximum value of 150. And then I'll hit the return key. So it's important to know that the value was set to 278. So it currently would look like this, 278, 278. So we're going to type plus s comma s in brackets. So this will add the value of s to the horizontal and to the vertical because we want an extra 150 by 150 when the height is fully maxed out. And then we'll replace this 278 with value. And now we have a responsive shadow and you can see that if we add a wiggle to his vertical position, the shadow acts accordingly. So. One more thing we can add, I had a question about how easy would it be to put the values of the top and bottom onto nulls, and it's actually really easy. We'll create a null for the top and one for the bottom, and we'll separate our dimensions, and then we'll come to this expression and replace the top value, and we'll pick whip it with our Y position from the top null, and then we'll get bottom from the one named bottom. And I'll copy and paste this part of the expression onto the two other expressions we created. And now we can just adjust the position of those nulls and our top and bottom values are responsively changing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or things that you would like to see in the future, make sure to leave those down in the comments. And make sure to like and subscribe because it'll help us make those videos in the future.